Good morning. So this morning I'm going to carry on where I left off yesterday um, and uh, continue trying to package uh, Snippet Pixie as a .deb for Debian. So let's see, right, so I've got a VM here, still open, uh, running, running Debian. Um, and we were just yesterday looking at a packaging intro. Um, it's like a wiki entry, I think, yeah. Um, and it seems fairly succinct. Um, and I had checked that I can build and run Snippet Expander on Debian. Um, and I had just had a look at my CICD uh, config, which has all the dependencies here uh, for at least building Snippet Expander. Um, this is on build stop uh, source hub. So I am going to continue on and start actually creating a Debian config in the source repo for Snippet Expander and see if we can actually get a .deb going, or at least built. I haven't got a great deal of time, so uh, let's get cracking. Uh, right, so let's take a look at the new files. Menu. So first file is Debian change log. This is the log of changes to the Debian package. Does not need to list everything that has changed in upstream code, but as a summary is helpful for others. Okay, uh, since we're now making the first version, there's nothing to log, all right? However, we still need to make a change log entry because the package tools all uh, the packaging tools read information from the change log. Most importantly, the package version. Ah, okay, right. So, so as a standard format, uh, this is ways to create a DCH tool. Now, did it tell me to make? Ah, okay. I might need to make sure these are installed. So let's have a quick look um, and see if we have DCH. Okay, I'm just gonna close off the daemon that was running there. And I'll close off that little one here. I think I might just, can I bump up? Yeah, just bumped up the font size a little bit there to make it a bit easier to read. Okay. Um, right, so, have we got DCH? I bet we haven't, no. Okay. So, let's get these packages. We want build essential which I might already have, um, dev scripts and deb helper. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay. Right, so that's installed. What was the other one? Build scripts. No, dev scripts. Yeah. That won't be installed. No. So what's that about? Hmm. Okay. Scripts to make the life of a Debian package maintainer easier. Contains the following scripts. Dependencies recommendations shown in brackets after it's all right. Okay. Camp. 
Folk. That's a nice one. I've lent a Debian source package to a cow builder to host and build it. Optionally, also sign in and update it. Okay, nice. Um, so it's not a list in DCH there, so that must be in the next one. Um, unless it is part of one of these. Okay. Wait, okay, let's do this properly so that I always have this when I'm working on Debian. Uh, so just make sure I've got my dot files up to date. Okay, so I'm going to look at my update uh, common Debian dev. Okay, let's stick some stuff at the end here. Yeah. I'll just nick one of these. No, I don't want to snap stuff. Apt. Okay. going to use so now I've got to work out well hmm. what's something here that will dead build Yeah. I think we use that later in the in the uh, wiki article. Yeah. Okay, so that's a good one to use as a, a requirement there. Let's see, it's dev scripts is the actual package. Okay, so that should be one. And then what was the other one? Deb helper. Okay, what's that going to give me? Do a search there just in case. I want to see if it. Oh, my you, Info will tell me. D. Helper. Okay. Helper programs for Debian rules, a collection of programs that can be used in Debian rules files to automate common tasks related to the programs are included to install various files in your package, compress files, blah, 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 blah. That's your menu system, debconf. Okay. So hmm. let me just check something here. Does this acquire it? Hmm. 
No. Okay. Well, I'm going to cheat a little bit here. And I'm going to say that if I haven't got dev build, I haven't probably installed dev helper either. So uh, that's usually just used for setup. I'll do that. Um, that is the right. Yeah, deb helper. Deb helper. Okay, we'll try that. All right, let's run the update. Got a little script in my dot files that works out what type of OS you are on and all this kind of stuff, and then um, includes a bunch of uh, install things and whatnot. Um, does all the updates and all that kind of thing. So. Ooh. Bit of an update going on there. Oh, at least I'll be up to date. Okay. And then we'll get cracking with the making the change log and that. Might have to do a bounce the uh, the VM after this because that's a lot of stuff. Maybe not. Maybe it was all do step uh, the dev stuff. That's okay then. Okay, um, I'll just do that quick. Bring that. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Make sure that's squared away. Okay. Let's have a quick go at this then. So, DCH it was called. Okay. And what do I have to do with it? Okay. Um, fair enough. So DCH create, and then my version, and then the package name should get me something usable. Uh, hold on a minute, do I need to be? Yes, okay. Need to be in a Debian folder first. All right, let's make sure this is up today. I haven't done any changes, I hope. No. Okay. Um, so, DCH create. Minus V, mine is 1.0.1. 1. Oops, that's the version of Snippet Expander that we we're on. So the 1-1 one one is the Debian version. Um, and then it was... Package.
snippet expander. Oh, interesting. I do it from there. Premium address from username. Okay, that's not going to work out well, is it? Right here. Yeah. So a couple of little fix up here then. So get that. Um, that's not gonna be useful. I've, I've read ahead a little bit and don't need that. Uh, that's okay um, for the moment. So that should be it in basic form there. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to be doing these uh, Debian bug fixes as such. Not yet, anyway. Right, Debian control. Control for describes the source and binary package. Okay, and gives some information about them, such as their names, who the package maintained in is and so on. Here's an example of what it looks like. Okay. Right. So this is the arguably the really important one because it tells you, you how to build it. No. Well, gives you the dependencies. Okay. got to work out the architecture. Hmm. Okay. There's a GUI for this stuff, is there? Uh, kind of looks more complicated than just using Vim. So let's just copy and paste. And get some basic stuff in there that might work. Um, Oops. Okay. What happened there? Did I not grab everything? So that should be just source, is it? Yeah. Interesting. So, rename it. Hi there. To snippet expander. Maintainer. Ian, should I do that? Or Ian Jones? I usually use Ian M. Jones on email. Because there's a few Ian Joneses in the world. Section. Oh. 
Who knows? What what sections are there? Uh, I guess I could stick with Misk at the moment and then Yeah. Standard version, presumably. Uh, so we've got maintainer priority. Right, optional is definitely okay for that. Um, it depends. Or standards version. What is that? Why doesn't talk about that? Okay. Build depends. Okay, that's the one we're going to have to do in a minute. Um, architecture. That's going to be fun. And pens, misc. Right, okay. Let's do AMD 64, the architecture for a moment. Because that's. doesn't tell you whether the list is common delimited or not. I presume not. If the build depends. Oh, no, they are. Okay. Anyway, I'm just thinking ahead because at some point I'll be doing this for um, my arm and stuff as well. So, okay. Let's just stick that in then. Let's just for that. I'll just grab the uh, tagline. So that's indented. Okay, I'm going to take that out for the moment. We'll just do that. Well, let's just grab that. Oops. One hotkey there. Hope there's not a uh, width limit. Uh, you said you really become a bit abbreviation. Take the just the little tag, little minor bits there. Okay, that's enough description, isn't it? We can always improve it later. Right, depends. This is where we have fun. Let's, right, that we don't need. I'm not sure about Exorth. Golang Go. 
certainly need. Uh, right, this will be easier over here. Perfect. So we want. All of that. Let's see if this works. Right. Just quickly do this. It's not even worth automating at the moment. Now, I'm sure I could format this better, but I won't at the moment. Go look at um, snippet expanders in a minute because that might have some example stuff for me to use from the previous, well, the predecessor to uh, snippet expander. Okay. I should have automated this. <laughs> um, okay. Once it's done, though, it's done. Hopefully. So that's the build dependencies, runtime, hmm. very different. None of that dev stuff. There's a mistake there. There's no comma after this. Let's so make sure we've got commas all the way through. Okay, ding, 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 ding. Right. Okay. It's just going to be a scratch window. I'm just going to go look at the source. Right here, okay. Um, I'm going to snippet expander. Yeah, uh, snippet pixie. Uh, right, get at. GitHub.com And then they don't have I'm trying to remember the 
off the top of my head. Is that right? Apparently so. Right, so in here... Okay, yeah, so I can just build it down here. Interesting. Didn't need to do any extra stuff there. Hmm. Did not expect that. And that architecture is clearly wrong. Well, okay. Maybe this was just used as a bit of a template for elementary's thang. What's in source? Oh, format. Okay, yeah, we've got that as well. And then... Right, wow. Interesting. just grab that for the copyright. Okay, so I'm going to assume that this might actually work. So we'll keep that for the moment and then we'll have a quick look at getting the last two files in. The two. So copyright. It says just an empty one, but I can uh, cheat as such. And uh, do Just get this. Just needs a couple of changes. No, the date, what was that? When did I start? Snippet Expander. Don't really need dates these days, you know. Okay. Now, it's still GPL2, and all that is, why have well, we got trading space? Okay, it's a good start. We'll see if we need to make any changes later. 
So that's copyright done. And then we've got rules. Okay, this is where I'm going to have to make a bunch of stuff, presumably. I don't know what that means. Okay, so presumably that dh command it says here it must do a lot of analysis. So we'll go with that. Oops, keep using uh, Vim. Well, that's got to be a tab. What are you doing there, man? Okay. And then, last. Yeah, and then we're going to do a little try. And then I've got to finish. So it's going to go bang, I'm sure. All right, we're going to use Quill, are we? Okay. So Debian source format. Okay. Right, so that means, in theory, we have the basic files in place there. And we can give it a quick go. So this is going to not work, just like it doesn't work for them. Um, but it gives us a place to get started with on the next session. So deb, dbuild, should we say, um, US UC okay whatever that means I think that means it's not signed D build US UC double check US UC one dash has generation number but there does not seem to be an appropriate original tar file or dot ridge directory in the parent directory continue anyway oh that's interesting Hmm. So we go anyway. See what happens. Okay, so it failed. But we now have some info. You read that okay? Read that okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't need that. Right, okay. Let's quickly take that out before going any further. Um, that was in the control. D 
definitely don't need that. That's a runtime test thing I use. Stop chubby package config. Yeah, 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 it should be okay. And I'll definitely need these. Okay, let's do that again then. Ooh. It tried. Right, okay. So I've got to work out how to run it and say, look, I don't need tarball because I want to run it in source unless I, unless I do change things up and just make it a separate package that would be interesting but anyway. uh yeah so diddle diddle fake deep was clean Oh, it's doing the clean. Okay. That's okay. Hmm. So that actually... It's okay. It's just done a clean. Although it's not showing me. Oh yeah, no, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, good. All right. Um, and then of course it goes bang because it can't find the tar, tarball of um, the source, which it's actually already sitting in. So, okay. So that's the thing for the next time is to work out whether I can tell them built uh, it needs another B in there um, to say hey don't need a tarball um, but yeah I've run out of time I need to get started with my day really um, yeah so yeah better get going uh, thanks for watching uh, until next time Take care.